what is best in life? This gun in my hand. Falk Ziljan, indomitable hero by virtue of the fact that he carries a gun, woke with his face in the mud. His overcoat and tie were missing, his white shirt and gray twill trousers stained with grass. Tall trees surrounded him. He didn't know how he came here or what happened after the World Crime Syndicate started firing at him and his allies. Oh, where am I? There's a goose egg plant on the side of my head. Goose egg, I can't even get the cliché right. At least I still have my shoes. We were in a farm field next to a farmhouse. The World Crime Syndicalists started shooting, and then there was an explosion. How did I get in the woods? Whoa, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I I'm just walking back the way I came. I didn't see anything. You have come upon me as I was beginning to climb this tree. It would require no exertion under normal circumstances, but rarely are events normal for Thugosh of Choplivria. Hi, I'm Falk Or I am that Thugosh of Choplivria, son of Sinugor. Widely I am known as Thugosh the Freebooter, Thugosh the Wanderer, Thugosh the Conqueror, King Thugosh, Thugosh the Usurper, then Thugosh the Wanderer again. Sorry, doesn't ring any bells. Have you heard of Thugosh the Barbarian? No. Do you come from the Barbary Coast of Northern Africa? I have not heard of Africa. To our people, barbarian means an outsider, a less civilized person. Right. A savage. Yeah, it means the same thing in my neck of the woods, but I thought that was just northern Mediterranean people not liking southern Mediterranean people and then applying the name to anyone else they didn't like. Are these southern Mediterranean people savages? Less civilized? Oh, who's to say what's civilized and what's not? Let's just say different cultures or uh, outsiders, like you said. Indeed. But to assure you I am not weak, I have good reason to have difficulty climbing that tree. Seven days I have been running through woodlands, evading a division of enemy warriors. I'm sorry, when I first heard you and saw what you were wearing, I thought maybe you were taking some alone time with yourself, by yourself. The ways of my people differ from yours, from the words we use to the clothes we wear. Or the clothes you don't wear. My garb is quite typical in Chaplivria. I am almost always, as you find me today, naked save for a loincloth. And a leathern harness, and girdle, and boots. And my cloak lies beside the fire. Is that harness some kind of weightlifting gear? One of those girdles that reduces strain on your back because you do a lot of heavy lifting? I bet you're a stevedore. Or you found yourself naked in an unfamiliar area and stole those pieces from the backyard clothesline of the village people. I know not of which village you speak. That's peculiar, too. You're a savage barbarian who makes sure not to end a sentence with a preposition. I know not this preposition of which you speak. Do you know where we are? Have you seen a man dressed in purple or another man in blue? No, I have seen no one these past three days. We are now west of the kingdom of Alumanikosh, but none of this will hold meaning for you. A faint memory scratches at me when I see your clothing and hear your way of speaking. Like me, you have traveled from the 20th century. Close enough. Far back into the past, 20,000 years. Your body is asleep in your time, perhaps drowsing in your study, while your mind has been cast back to a previous life in an age of magic and might. As in sword and sorcery? I hadn't thought of it in those terms. Yes, that would be a good name for it. I hope you're not saying this is all a dream. When I tell people what happened to me, that would make a really unsatisfying ending to the story. Not a dream, but a dislodged memory returning to you while you sleep. Still not very satisfying. I'm sorry, where did you say we are now? In no place whose name you would recognize. Languages and cultures shift over the millennia. So do continents. Great Lemuria and Atlantis will plunge to their watery graves before your time, my friend. Then how are you speaking English I can understand? Perhaps the language changed, then changed back. Never mind. How do you get home from these memory dreams? Eventually, my body in 1931 wakes and my mind returns there. How long is eventually? Usually after Thugash has performed some mighty feats. Let's say you were transcribing those adventures. Would they be the length of a short story, or a poem, or a few pages? Novelettes. Damn! How can I wake up soon? Is there someone who could help? Most of the sorcerers I have met practiced dark magic, so I killed them. 
However, there is one who has helped me and still owes me a debt. Cheyesh, his name is. I shall gather my belongings and we will go to him. Is that a tin can in the campfire? It is a flat piece of stone with a shiny surface. Come, the wizard lives 70 miles to the east. So, you come here often? I mean, do you often cast your consciousness back to this era and this persona? Aye. To vary my experience, I sometimes embody a Celtic prince 3,000 years before your time, or the Asiatic merchant Keiko from the 19th century. I heard that Keiko is a woman's... Ah! I'll have your money all your lives, outlanders! Brigands! I'll deal with these fools myself. Ziljan, if your weapon fell into their hands and they could reverse engineer it to produce more, the gods only know to what evil purposes they would put it. Okay, okay, stop explaining and deal with them. I could use a weapon more suited to this era. Uh, what can I fight them with? This glaive gazarm in my hand. No need, my friend. I have dispatched the last of them. Also, that glaive gazarm is still from the wrong time period. They won't be made for 19,000 years. Letting you fight those attackers by yourself, I feel like I'm not pulling my weight. But you were right, I probably shouldn't wave my gun around here. Behind you, a minotaur! <laughs> Sorry, reflex. That is really a man with the head and shoulders of a bull. I need to get back to Parabellum City. We should be on our way. The sounds of gunfire and swordplay may draw the attention of other beasts. I appreciate your help, Thu Gosh, uh, pal. I didn't realize you'd be risking your life just to show me the way and introduce me to the wizard. We risk our lives with every stride through this land. It would be no safer had I turned you away and journeyed to Alamanukash on my own. Is that the sound of cars? It sounds like a highway to the north. You are mistaken, brother. The wind blows eerily through these hills. Or perhaps we range near the sea. Mewling beasts in the distance. I can see through the trees. There's a kid on a bicycle flicking off the cop car. I would venture that those automobiles have been transported back to this ancient time by cruel sorcery. Wouldn't an easier explanation be that you never traveled through time? You're still in the modern era of high technology with automobiles and two-way radios and canned fruit chunks suspended in flavored gelatin. You believe that's easier? No, live that way if you must. For me, it is easier 20,000 years in the past, hunting and foraging for my food, crushing my problems with steel, when your problem is that you haven't performed quality control and enough reels of microfilm per hour to satisfy your supervisor, who sits in his office listening to electronic music seven times faster than his heartbeat, you can't dispatch that problem with a blade. I mean, you shouldn't. Here I shall remain, naked, save for a loincloth. Anyway, as long as those cars have spoiled it, I can tell you what really happened to you. You jerk, why didn't you tell me earlier? Do you want to hear it or not? Yes, please. I was hiding behind the chicken coop when you and the phantasm and that other guy had the firefight with the people in the farmhouse. Then the World Crime Syndicate appeared. They started throwing punches, which makes me skeptical of their claims of superpowers. Except for Dr. Intellectual Property Master, whose power seems to be spontaneously broadcasting sights and sounds from public domain works. You'd think he'd have exclusive rights to something fancier, but who knows. He projected a scene of machine gun fire and explosions from an Italian war movie. Did you see what happened to me? The Phantasm and Paul engaged with Miss Patriarchy, Colonel Racism, and the Xenophobe. As they wrestled, they bumped into the big oak tree who fell over and knocked you out. I dragged you through the field and into the edge of the forest. Well, thanks for saving me and no thanks for lying to me about it and wasting my time. What about those guys who attacked you, the brigands? They were dressed in scale mail and they had some kind of Nordic battle axes. I pay them to come out in the woods and attack me. You paid them and then killed them? No, it's a wooden sword. I'm careful to just hit them on their armor and helmets. They have pads underneath. I saw the blood. You split the first guy from shoulder to navel. I'm fine. You're probably still feeling the effects of that concussion from the big oat tree falling on you. No, there were other things. That minotaur looked real. Don't tell me I killed some actor while I was hallucinating. No, that was a cow. God, that's worse. It happens. I'll pay the farmer and send the brigands home with sides of beef. Okay, I'm gonna head out then. It was nice meeting you. You're still a jerk.
Do you sometimes feel, eh? Ask your doctor if Choplivria is right for you. Choplivria. Do not take Choplivria if you've had an allergic reaction to Choplivria. So I guess the first time you take it is a big old roll of the dice. Do not take Choplivria with H3CO dilapidators or depilatories such as Choplivria. Do not take Choplivria all if you're going to have a bad time or plan to tell people about your experience on Choplivria, because we don't need that garbage affecting our bottom line. Actually, why are we worried? We can control your mind subliminally with all this fast talk. Do not say bad things about Choplivria. Saying bad things about Choplivria will give you rectal shingles. Choplivria is not indicated for patients who have thriving hair follicles anywhere on their body, or who lack tails, or who have any medical problems, psychiatric problems, itchiness under armpits, financial problems, or any problem whatsoever. If you've got straight trousers, it'll give you flares. Swim in it, laugh in it, loving it. Choplivria is prohibited by all governments that have drug regulatory agencies, so be sure to take it in a failed state or one that has no effective drug regulatory agency, such as Luxembourg or Eastern Pennsylvania. Simon says ignore all statements about Choplivria that don't start with Simon Says. See dealer for details. Tax is not included. Offer prohibited. You can step right up. Naked Save, episode 14 of This Gun in My Hand, was conjured by Rob Norther. For show notes, credits, details on how to subscribe and to buy my books, visit thisgunandmyhand.blogspot.com. What distinguishes the civilized man from the barbarian? This gun in my hand. <laughs>